Keto Homestead, which I'll let you see me work in the garden a little bit this morning. So come on, let's go check it out. Alright guys, if you have blueberries and they're not doing so well, it's probably the acid level in the soil. Alright guys, now that I've got my pine branches clipped, I'm going to make a nice little bedding around my blueberries to give them the acidity that the soil needs for the blueberries. Now you can buy chemicals or blueberry feed or whatever you want to put on here but for me it's just makes sense to use what I have and I have pine leaves pine branches so I might as well use what I have I'll do this every few days. I'll come back out, cut some more pine branches, and reapply it to the blueberry bush. Look how exciting. My elderberries are starting to bloom. We'll have elderberry flowers and then we'll have berries. Here's the radishes. They're coming up really nice. They'll be ready to harvest here in a few days. These are a uh, breakfast variety, so they'll be they'll get a little bit bigger than this. But my husband tried one the other day. I guess they're really really spicy, spicier than the little red uh, bell radishes. So, all right, I want to explain a little bit what I was doing in the garden today. I know it makes it really difficult to hear me, and it's really difficult for me to talk when all that traffic's gone. It's so loud. And it's 8 o'clock in the morning and traffic is just non-stop. So first of all, I was separating my kale and replanting. My husband, when he plants um, small seeds, he likes to put like five seeds in one hole and then go on down the line and continuing that. So then what I do is once the plants start coming up, I transplant them, I'll dig them up, and I'll separate them, and then that way they have enough space to grow later on. So that's what I was doing with the kale this morning. And I may have not done it for a long time, but I get it accomplished in small amounts. I do have back issues, so I just do a little bit at a time every single day, and it eventually gets done but that's what I have to do to be able to do it. Now, I also trimmed up some pine branches and took that over to the blueberry bushes. And what that does, it just gives the blueberries the acidity um, in the soil to be able to give the pH level to the soil so that the blueberries stay healthy. We also took a look at my elderberries. They're coming along nice. I'll be able to harvest some elderberry flowers and dehydrate those later on. And then also after the berries come on, I'll be able to harvest those and store those for later use. 
We also went ahead into the garden at the radishes. They're not quite ready yet, but they're getting there. I'll be able to harvest those soon. Now, my husband does like to eat raw radishes. I do not. Honestly, I don't like raw radishes and I will not eat them because I don't like spice. However, if you stay tuned to my channel, later on when I do harvest them, I will show you how to can them and also how I like to eat them. But I just want to thank you all for stopping by Keto Homestead with Jess and taking a look at my garden and watching me work a little bit. Please like, subscribe, and let me know how your gardens are coming along. And I will talk to you soon.